The Secret to Freedom and Success. The book is called Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. He is the author of the very famous book Think and Grow Rich, which uh, is one of the all-time famous books, all-time greatest books regarding uh, creating wealth for yourself. This was actually a book that uh, was hidden since 1938 and it was only released, I think in about 2002 or maybe 2010. Um, when his estate decided to release, uh, release the book. He wrote it. It was considered too controversial at the time because um, of the subject matter. So one of the things that he talks about um, uh, in this book, Outwitting the Devil, The Secret to Freedom and Success, is that he says the biggest uh, thing that people struggle with is, is called drifting. And a drifter is one who permits himself to be influenced and controlled by circumstances outside of his own mind. He would rather let um, thoughts occupy his mind than go to the trouble of thinking for himself. A drifter has lots of opinions, but they are not his own. So the, the, the context of the book really is the, the, it's an interview between Napoleon Hill, who's the author. He was a, a, a very famous journalist who interviewed some of the world's greatest success minds. And uh, the devil this fictitious character called the devil. So it's Napoleon Hill interviewing the devil and the devil telling Napoleon Hill how he corrupts people's minds, how he influences people to start getting into negative thinking, how to, uh, he influences people to give up rather than persist. So I'm going to read uh, a few points from the book here. Uh, let's have a look here. The youthful, inexperienced mind is apt to mistake temporary success for permanency. The youth often makes the mistake of coveting the temporal gains of immoral, unjust plans, but neglects to look ahead and observe, observe the penalties which follow as definitely as night follows day. So he's saying there, um, you know, everything is temporary. Whether you have a great amount of success, you shouldn't think that it's just going to last forever. Likewise, if you have, you're going through a tough spot at the moment, you shouldn't think that it's going to last forever. Everything is, is, uh, is temporary. Um, he's talking about perseverance here. When plans fail, he substitutes others, but he does not change his purpose. He perseveres. Eventually, he finds a plan that succeeds. So if you have ever given up because it all just got got a bit too hard, a reminder that the devil is trying to get you to stop. He wants you to quit. But the person who moves with def uh, definiteness recognizes the difference between temporary defeat and failure. When plans fail, he substitutes others, but he does not change his purpose. He perseveres. Put it in context, if you've got a business that you're trying to run or a job or a girl you're dating or whatever and you're trying to make things happen and then you know, you try something and it doesn't work, well, two types of people. One person goes, well, that's the end of that and doesn't try again. Or the other person goes, oh, okay, didn't work that way, I'll try this way. Perseverance. All habits, save only that of the love of definiteness, definitive, lula, lula. <laughs> definiteness of purpose may lead to the habit of drifting. So yeah, so all habits that we have may lead to us drifting. Um, except for having a definiteness of purpose. The devil says, once any person hesitates, procrastinates, or becomes indefinite about anything, he is just one step removed from my control. Ooh, oh, that's stuff. That's vicious stuff, I should say. Um, procrastination is a killer, man. That will kill you. In fact, uh, I actually came up with a procrastination how to beat procrastination formula. And if you want to get it, if you're listening to me uh, or you're watching as well, you can text the word James1, that's James and the number one, to the number 44222 if you're in the US. And uh, if you're anywhere outside of the US, you can just go to jameswanick.com forward slash free stuff and I'll give you my uh, stop procrastinating formula. I'll also send you actually my, my notes from Think and Grow Rich by the same author, uh, Napoleon Hill. Uh, let's have another read here of this book. Let's find out some other things that I underlined here. Um, 
The first thing you will notice about a drifter is his total lack of a major purpose in life. He will be conspicuous by his lack of self-confidence. He will never accomplish anything requiring thought and effort. Mm, tough. Uh, the devil likes to sow the seeds of fear and uncertainty in the minds of people. Uh, laziness plus indifference equals procrastination equals drifting. We've all been guilty of it at some time or another, right? Um, the devil says that he plants the seeds of negative thought in the minds of people through newspapers, moving pictures, the radio, and all other popular methods of appeal to the mind. I cause people to allow me to do their thinking for them because they are too lazy and too indifferent to think for themselves. Yeah, you got to think for yourself. All right, let's keep going here. What else we got here from Napoleon Hill in, in uh, Outwitting the Devil? Uh, positive thoughts uh, can be woven by time into permanent habits. That's good. So the, you think positive, you'll, get, you'll act positive. Nature will not tolerate idleness or vacuums of any sort. All space must be and is filled with something. When the individual does not use the brain for the expression of positive creative thoughts, nature fills the vacuum by forcing the brain to act upon negative thoughts. Successful people must control their environment, thereby ensuring themselves against the influence of a negative environment. So if you've got friends and they're always bitching the whole time, you've got to get them out of your life because otherwise you will be negative and you will bitch. But if you want to be happy, surround yourself with happy people. So you've got to really control your environment. Um, the first duty of every human being is to himself. Every person owes himself the duty of finding how to live a full and happy life. Um, what else we got here? Uh, definiteness, uh, def definite, I'm getting the pronunciation here wrong, aren't I? Definiteness of purpose. Everyone is born with the privilege of being definite, but 98 out of every 100 people lose this privilege by sleeping on it. The privilege of definiteness can be maintained only by adopting it as a policy by which one is guided in all areas of life. The person who thinks in terms of power, success, opulence, sets up a rhythm which attracts these desirable possessions. The person who thinks in terms of misery, failure, defeat, discouragement and poverty attracts these undesirable influences. All successful people use hypnotic rhythm, either consciously or unconsciously, by expecting and demanding success. Mm. As long as people fear something, no matter what, I will keep a grip on them, says the devil. You've got to eliminate fear, right? Um, Non-drifters do not wait for opportunity to be, to be placed in their way. They create opportunity to fit their desires and demands of life. They create opportunity. I love it. They don't wait, they create. I think we might leave it at that. I like that, that last message, creating opportunity. So that's the book, Outwitting the Devil, The Secret to Freedom and Success, uh, by the very famous author Napoleon Hill, who's also the author of the book Think and Grow Rich. I will send you my personal notes on Think and Grow Rich, if you type in James 1, or send a text rather to James 1 to the number 44222, or you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash free stuff. Leave a comment down below. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. I do these book reviews all the time. Thank you for listening on the James Swanick Show podcast, and I will catch you on the next one. Hey, I'm James Swanick. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to watch my next video, then click here. If you want to subscribe to this channel to get new videos, click here. And if you want to follow me on social media, like my Snapchat right here, you can see my Snap. Click on the links down there. Go on, do it now. I'll wait for you. Snapchat, Snapchat me, Snapchat.